To explain how plants change the atmosphere, we have to go way back to the 18th century. Joseph Priestley was born in Yorkshire in 1733. He was famous for doing experiments with air. In one experiment, Priestley left a candle burning in a sealed jar. He reckoned that the candle eventually went out because the air inside the jar had been changed, so he called it fixed air. In fixed air, a burning match would go out straight away. If Priestley put a mouse in fixed air, he found that it couldn't breathe. <laughs> Priestley wanted to know why a mouse got into difficulties if it was given fixed air to breathe. Eventually, he tried putting a plant into the jar. Unlike a mouse, a plant could live for a long time in fixed air. After the plant had been growing for a while, he found that a mouse could now breathe easily inside the jar. Not only that, but it was now possible to burn things in the jar. After this experiment, Priestley understood a lot more about air. We know now that it's a mixture of several different gases, including carbon dioxide and oxygen. Burning a candle converts oxygen into carbon dioxide. Fixed air has no oxygen left at all. A living plant converts carbon dioxide back into oxygen. Priestley's discovery was very important at the time, but even so, you should always try to think of experiments that don't involve animals. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby.